Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every single time. It does not matter what sport you're betting on, we have all the tools right here. Before we get into the games for Major League Baseball for Sunday, September the 12th, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP Club section, which again has all the tools that you will need to make your picks efficiently. So, the Major League Baseball season is really getting down to the home stretch now and the playoff races are really heating up. So we have a full slate of games, so let's get started and take a look at five of them for this Sunday. Scroll down through here, Tampa Bay and Detroit, Colorado and Philadelphia, Toronto and Baltimore. The first game we want to look at is going to be Milwaukee and Cleveland. In the Battle of the Midwest, the NL Central leading Brewers take on the Cleveland Indians, also battling for a playoff spot. Brandon Woodruff is scheduled to pitch for the Brewers. He is 9-8 with a 2 point. 4.8 ERA, and you can see he has a solid bet at plus 45 on the pitcher profit oscillator. The Indians have not yet named their starter. The Brewers are burning hot versus dead at the moment. As you can see, the Brewers have won, uh, here we go, won their last two and four out of their last six, while the Indians are coming off of a win, but they have lost four out of their last six. On the power ranking indicator, you can notice here that Milwaukee's on the upward trend at plus 20, and Cleveland is on a steep downward trend over the last uh, four days from plus 18 down to plus 2. The scores predictor shows Milwaukee with a 6-2 edge, but only 34% level of confidence. Well, let's take a look at the totals predictor as far as the over-under. You can see Milwaukee's trending in games slightly over the line. Cleveland is under the line by quite a bit. You might want to go under or maybe avoid the bet altogether. I would not, definitely not bet the over, though, on this one. As far as for the outcome of the game, I really believe that the Brewers clearly are the much better team. They are playing very well. They're looking to really take control of everything, and they will come away with the win and cover. Miami and Atlanta. Boston and Chicago. Here's another good one. Both teams play, are playing second in the division. Um... Boston in the AL East and Chicago in the AL Central. You can see that Boston is average versus average down. On the power rankings indicator, you can see that uh, neither team is trending very well. Very inconsistent, both up and down right now, both on the downward trend. Boston at plus 13, and the White Sox at plus 6. Chris Sale is scheduled to pitch for the Red Sox. He is 3 0 with a 2.52 ERA. And you can see he has a very good uh, plus 112 uh, profit on the pitcher profit oscillator. And the White Sox have not yet named their starter. Over the last six games, you can see that the Red Sox are 3-3. Three and three, And the White Sox are 2-4. and four. And we looked at the power ranking indicator before, so we don't need to do that again. The total predictor, the over and under, you can see that Boston is trending in games slightly over the line if you compare the black line to the green or to the blue line excuse me and the white Sox are trending slightly under the line comparing the black to the blue in a case like that i generally try to avoid betting the over under but let's take a look at the scores predictor the scores predictor has the white Sox by a nine to six score which which would be over the line but remember the confidence of prediction is only 35 percent and take a closer look at that before you decide betting the over and under but for now i believe the red Sox will take advantage of sales pitching very well lately, and will win on the road. Angels and the Astros. The Reds and the Cardinals. Here's a nationally central matchup. As you see, neither team is playing well lately. The Reds ice cold down, and the Cardinals are ice cold up. Uh, over the last six games, you see the Reds are just 2-4, and four, and the Cardinals are also only 2-4, and four, but they have come on... on of two straight wins against the Dodgers, which is, has been impressive. Right now, the Reds are second place in the division, and the Cardinals are third place. On the power ranking indicator, you can see that both teams are on the upward trend at plus 19 for uh, Cincinnati and plus 16 for St. Louis. We're looking for the over-under. You can see here that Cincinnati has been trending in games well under the line, you know, all the way back to... August the 19th, and you can see that the Cardinals are trending in games slightly over the line. This is the kind of game that I might bet the under just because of the Reds, but again, I might just avoid it altogether. 
But let's take a look at the pitching matchup. Sonny Gray is scheduled to pitch for the Reds. He is 7-6 and six with a 3.8 ERA. And J.A. Happ is scheduled to go with the Cardinals. He is 8-8 eight eight with a 6.24 ERA. You can see Gray is a slightly positive uh, in terms of pitcher profit at plus $7. But Happ has been a poor bet at minus $247. So I believe that... The Cardinals are a smart play. I really believe that the Cardinals are going to be a smart play here, even though that uh, they haven't been playing well lately. I mean, Hap isn't really a good bet, but I just believe that the Cardinals are going to be a smart play here. And if you look at the uh, score prediction, you can see this is 7-1 to one in favor of the Cardinals with 64.5% confidence. So I believe that the Cardinals will win this one in cover, but avoid betting the over-under. The Giants and the Cubs. Here's another really good matchup. The Giants are battling to fend off the Dodgers in the NL West, and the Cubs are fourth in the NL Central. Although they are fourth place, they are playing very well lately, burning hot at the moment, winners of eight of their last ten. You can see right here, five out of their last six. And the Giants are burning hot, they have won five out of their last six as well. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you see here that the Cubs are at plus 18, and... The Giants are at plus 29. Neither team has uh, named their starting pitcher yet. So take a look back as it gets closer to the game to see if that has changed. And right now the score prediction here is 10 to 5 in favor of the Giants with a relatively high level of confidence of 69%. The totals predictor shows the Giants playing in games trending other than the line back as far as August the 18th. The Cubs are trending a bit over the line at the moment. I would tend to think that this is going to go over. You know that the Giants have been trending under. That that uh, scores prediction and conference prediction is high enough for me to lean that way. I think the Giants will win, cover, and bet the over. The final game we want to look at as we scroll down through here is the Battle of New York, the Yankees and the Mets. The Yankees are slumping at the moment. You can see losers of their last six. The Mets are averaged down at the moment. They haven't been playing very well either. 2-4 and four over their last 6. Neither team has named their starting pitcher for this contest. If you look at the power ranking indicator, see the Yankees have stumbled all the way down to 0. They were as high as plus 19 just uh, less than a week ago. And the Mets are on a downward trend as well at plus 5. They were as high as plus 29 just a week ago. If you consider the over and under bet, as we always do, you see here the Yankees are trending in games under the line over the last uh, few days. And the Mets are over the line, but they have been trending under the line for quite some time, dating back to August the 17th. Let's look at this, what the score predictor has to say. The score predictor has the Mets with a 7-4 margin of win, with a confidence of only 38.5%, though, however, so I'll take that with a little bit of a grain of salt at the moment. We'll take a look at that as it gets closer to the game. But for now, I need, believe that the Yankees will break out. They need to at some point. They really do have too much overall talent to keep losing. The Yankees will win on the road, but avoid the over and under at this point, time. So there you have it. Those are the games for Sunday, September 12th in Major League Baseball. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.